thank you for joining me. Grayboard Gamer here with a quick playthrough and giveaway of Strawberry Ninja. A small box game for one to four players that plays in about 20 minutes from Golden Bell Studios. Before we start the playthrough, you can enter the contest to win your own copy of Strawberry Ninja by going to Twitter and posting a link to your favorite series or favorite video that I've done. Also be sure, be sure. to include hashtag Grayboard Giveaway. This giveaway is open to all viewers worldwide. The contest is open to entry until July 1st at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. When the contest ends, I'll compile all the entries and do a random drawing on camera, and the winner will receive a new sealed copy of Strawberry Ninja. This is a fun little filler game, quick to set up, easy to play, if there are people in your gaming group that have downtime, they could grab this for 20 minutes while everyone else is finishing up if they've been eliminated. And also, it's good for younger kids because it does have a quick setup and quick play time. And the theme is fun for kids. Could be a good way to get them introduced into gaming. With that said, let's get the box open and get it set up. First thing we're going to do is take our deck of 20 field cards, give them a shuffle, and draw 10. And place the remaining cards back into the box. They will not be used for this playthrough. Next we'll take our Strawberry Ninja, who has the same back as the field cards, and shuffle them into our deck of 10. Now we'll take our cards and form a 4x3 grid, leaving one space open. You can have this empty space be anywhere in the grid. I just chose to put it there. Next, we're going to take our kitty, who is chasing the Strawberry Ninja down, and place it anywhere on the grid, on top of one of the face-down cards. Now that kitty's in place, we're going to take our movement cards. We have a right, a down, a left, and an up. And we're going to shuffle these and make a movement deck. And finally, we have our turn marker. Each round lasts 12 turns, and we'll place that next to our movement deck to keep track of which turn we're on. And that is it. We are set up and ready to play. The goal of the game is to catch the Strawberry Ninja two times in order to win. If the Strawberry Ninja gets away two times, we lose the game. Gameplay is simple, and the turns move by quickly. The first thing you're going to do is take a card and shift it into the open space. In this case, we can either move the bottom card up, top card down, or this card to the right. And in this case, I'm going to choose to shift to the right. And next, you shift again, doing the same thing, moving a different card, not the one you just moved into the open space. In this case, I'm going to move the card that the kitty's on. And if a card shifts with the kitty on it, they stay on the card. Next, you reveal the second card you shifted. In this case, it's the one with the kitty on it. And we have the Ladybug. You may only shift this card up or down. And the kitty will stay on there. So that is going to restrict how we move that card throughout our grid. No more left and right movement for it now that it's revealed. Next you draw the top move card. In this case it is move kitty to the right. So the kitty will shift one card to the right. Then this movement card gets placed face up on the bottom of the movement deck. And you want to kind of mentally keep track. So we know we moved right, so the next card we draw from the movement deck is either going to be left, up, or down. After you do your movement, you have the option to pounce. There are still a lot of face down cards, so I have no idea, and the odds are not good that I'm on the Strawberry Ninja card. Once you pounce, you reveal the card if it's face down. And then that is the end of the round. Either you've caught the Strawberry Ninja or you have not. When you get to 12 on the turn track, you must pounce. And in this case, there's way too many possibilities yet, so I'm not going to do so. And we would move the turn track to 2 and continue to track down the Strawberry Ninja. For this round, I'm limited because I cannot move this card back to the left because it says I can only go up or down with it. So I will shift 1 and two, revealing the second card I shifted. 
and it says you may not shift this card. So this is getting quite complicated. Now we'll see where the kitty moves, and kitty is going to move down. Put the card on the bottom, and choose to pounce or not. In this case, I still will not. You can move into a blank space with the kitty. That is allowed. And my options are very limited here. Moving into round three, or turn three. I can't shift this card. This one I could move down, and I think I'll do that. Move that one down, move that one over, reveal, and it is a strawberry person, but it's not the strawberry ninja. Let's move the kitty up, and place the card on the bottom. Now I believe I've moved right, down, and up. So that means the next one's going to move me to the left. We'll move into round four. We'll shift this card over, place the kitty on it, and I have a choice. Do I want to move this one over or that one? Because I'm pretty sure the kitty's going to move to the left if I remember properly. And if I get lucky and I move the strawberry ninja here, I can catch him. We'll go with the card up here. We'll shift down, reveal that card. Oh no. Remove this card from the grid until the end of next turn. So at the end of turn five, this card will come back on the grid. We'll just leave it down here as a reminder. Kitty's going to move. And I did remember properly, it is to the left. We're out of movement cards, so these will get shuffled back up. And we'll move on to turn five. And remember, at the end of this turn, this card will come back into the grid. Well, there's a little more room now. We have two open spaces to shift cards. But we've redone our movement deck, so we don't know which way the kitty's going to go. We do have six, I'm sorry, we have five cards over here that we don't know what they are. Hopefully I'm not doing the wrong thing, and one of these two is the Strawberry Ninja. So I'll shift this card over, and this one over, revealing the second one. If Kitty is above or below this card, peek at another card without revealing it. And by peeking at it means you can look and see what it is, but it remains face down. And let's see where the Kitty's going to move. The kitty's going to go up to this empty space. Move our card to the bottom of the movement deck. This is the end of this turn, so this card can go back on the grid. Do I want to place it here or do I want to place it up there? Well, Kitty's going to move left, right, or down. So we'll place it over here. And move on to our next turn. We will shift that one over and this one over, revealing this card. Oh, it's a donut that says move Kitty here immediately. Well, that's where Kitty's going to end up right this second, but is about to move to the left into that open space. So we've moved up and to the left, so we have a right and a down remaining in the movement deck. Definitely not going to pounce, and we'll move on to turn seven. The majority of our unseen or unrevealed cards are over here on the right, so we want to get over there. Let's shift the donut over and then that card and reveal you may only shift this card left or right. Well, that's not too bad. But we're kind of coming down to the wire now. We only have four cards that we haven't revealed, and we're getting low on turns. Kitty's going to move to the right, which I believe only leaves down in the movement deck. Definitely not pouncing, and we'll move on to turn eight. And we got to get these cards out in the open, and unfortunately the second one we move is already revealed, so we're not going to gain any new insight. And we have to move down, reshuffling the movement deck, and moving on to turn 9. Now I know it says if the kitty is above or below this card, peek at another card without revealing it. That text only applies when the card is revealed, so if this card was revealed and I was here or here, 
then I would apply that effect, not just if I move there at any time. We have a new deck for movement, so we don't know which way we're going to go. We have one, two, three, four unrevealed cards. Let's move one, two, revealing this card. Oh, it says shuffle the movement deck. Well, in this case, we haven't used any yet, so that doesn't hurt us too bad. But we still don't know where the Strawberry Ninja's at. We're going to move to the right. We are not pouncing on that chocolate chip cookie. So we've moved to the right. So we have left up and down. That doesn't help us too much. Moving on to round 10. Let's move Strawberry Guy. Move that card up and reveal it. And there the ninja is. Now we just have to find a way to get to him. We're going to move up. We're close, but we're not on the Strawberry Ninja. And we're going to be moving down or to the left. And we don't have much time left because we're on turn 11. All right, maybe we'll get lucky and down will be the next move. We'll shift the Strawberry Ninja, move our card to the right and draw, and we got it. Move Kitty down onto the card with the Strawberry Ninja. And now at the end of the turn, I will pounce, and we have caught the Strawberry Ninja one time. Now we will reset using the same deck of cards and get all set up again. Place Kitty down here in the bottom corner and begin our next round to see if we can catch the Strawberry Ninja a second time. You may not shift this card. Kitty's going to move down. Now in this case, if you cannot move off the grid, so the Kitty will stay right where it is. And we'll move to round two, or turn two. I keep getting the two terms intermixed. Shift, shift, reveal, shuffle the movement deck. Well, in this case, that down card gets mixed right back in. And we will move to the left, which we cannot do because we are already on the edge. We're not going to pounce and we'll move into turn three. Move, move, reveal, Remove this card from the grid until the end of the next turn. Kitty moves down into that blank spot, and we move to four. Let's bring some of these cards closer to us. We'll move, move. Oh, look at that. We know where the Strawberry Ninja is already, but we have to get there. And we're moving up and away. Well, we know that we're not going to pounce because we know where the Strawberry Ninja is at. Now I want to work the Strawberry Ninja towards me with my two moves. Move to the right. Now I'm right above him. Not quite there yet though. Our movement deck is shuffled back up and we'll move on to six. I want to keep our Strawberry Ninja close to me just in case I get lucky and I move down. I forgot to put this card back into the grid. That was a mistake. So what I'll do is place it here and we'll move two cards. Reveal one and it's our little strawberry person. Kitty will move. Oh, to the right. That is not the direction I wanted to go. We are not pouncing and we're moving on to round seven. I don't see any way that I can move the ninja close to me, but I'll start making room. Oh, you may not shift this card, that's right. So we'll move Strawberry and Reveal, and that one can only go left or right. Kitty's going to move up, getting further away from the ninja. Not doing too well there. So we went right. And we've went up. Sometimes when you reveal where he's at, it's even harder to track him down. 
we've moved up and to the right, so we're going to be coming down and to the left. So let's move these two. And we're moving to the left, unfortunately. Which means our next move will be down. As long as we don't end up having to reshuffle the deck because of a new card being revealed. But we're running out of time. Let's bring him closer to us by shifting twice. And we reveal, peek at another card without revealing it. Okay, let's just look at this one. Oh, that's our move kitty here immediately card, so we know what that is. And we're going to move down as predicted. Now we have to reshuffle the movement deck. Can't present its own problem. And we're already on 10. And we don't want to move away from where we're at, so we'll shift these two, reveal. If Kitty is left or right of this card, peek at another card without revealing it. That's not the case. Let's see if we get really lucky, because it's a one in four shot. If we move to the right, we can win this here. Oh, perfect. We move to the right, we choose to pounce, and that is twice. We've caught the Strawberry Ninja and won the game. I know I made that look pretty easy, but both games we did have to take it close to the end of the turn track. But I've played several games where the Strawberry Ninja has got away twice without me catching him even once. So this playthrough in the film, I caught him two times in a row and made it look easy, but it's not. And there's a simple way to make it more difficult. In the rule book, they say if you want to ramp up the difficulty, instead of doing 12 turns, just make it a 10 turn game. And there's also a variant where you don't randomly choose the 10 cards. You can actually pick the 10 cards you want to play with. I prefer random and not knowing what I'm going to get because there are 20 cards and you're only using half of them at any given time. So there's not any easy way to predict what might be coming up. After your first playthrough, if you've revealed a lot of the cards, then you have an idea what's going to be there. And there are some things that make the game difficult too. I just got lucky I didn't get any of the really bad negative cards. Things like turn another face-up card face down and move the turn marker forward one space is essentially losing a turn. Again, to enter the drawing for a free copy of Strawberry Ninja, Post a link on Twitter to your favorite video or series of videos that I've done and include in your posts the hashtag GraybordGiveaway. This goes along the lines of me trying to present more affordable gaming choices or as many as possible. You can currently purchase the game on Amazon at the time of this filming for $19.95. Or you can also get a copy from Golden Bell Studios by going to their website and also purchasing it for $19.95. And you can see all the other games that they have available for you to purchase also. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to enter. Again, this is open to any viewer worldwide. And I'll see you in my next video.